Hi friends, this is Sandy for Graphic 45 and today I'm sharing with you how you can make this beautiful easel card for Mother's Day using your papers, dies, and flowers from Graphic 45. For my Mother's Day card, I'll be using a sheet from the Graphic 45 Baby to Bride collection. I'll also be using a circle die from my stash and this circle die has a diameter of approximately 3 and 1 8. I trim a piece double the size of my circle die, score and fold along the middle, then use washi tape to place the circle die on my paper. Be sure to leave your circle die outside of the edge where your paper is folded in half. Once you've run it through your die cutting machine, you'll wind up with a piece that looks like this. Next, you're going to take your die cut piece and you're going to score along the middle part of one circle. You'll just have to do a bit of eye measuring to find the middle part. I decided to use a sheet from the Graphic 45 Secret Garden Collection for a contrasting piece. I run this piece through my die cutting machine using the same circle die I used previously, but this time I'm die cutting the entire piece. Now we're ready to die cut our gilded round frames using the Graphic 45 clock die from the square tags and clock die set. For a sturdy frame piece, I die cut three frames in white cardstock and one in a mirror gold cardstock. My plan is to use the gold die cut frame as a backing to one of my white gilded frames. And once the frames are cut, I glue the two white frames directly on top of each other. Next, I apply glue around the edge of my full circle piece and glue the gilded frame on it. Then I take the circle piece that came out of my gilded frame and glue that piece right behind it. Now we're ready to apply this piece to the front of our card. We add some wet adhesive to the bottom half moon area that we scored earlier. Next, we're ready to add wet adhesive around the edge of the bottom of our card and glue it down to the other die cut gilded frame. Notice how the gold shows on the bottom frame? Well, to get this effect, all you have to do is off center the gold frame just a little bit when gluing the two frame pieces together. Next, I take another one of the circle pieces that popped out when I die cut the frames and I glue it to the bottom. I know that these are extra steps that were taken, but I assure you that these extra steps will leave you with a nice, sturdy card. To give the illusion that our Mother's Day card is sitting on a doily, I went through my stash and found this pretty frame die. I die cut two pieces, glued one right over the other, and then I glued the bottom of my card on top of it. I'm using my Graphic 45 chipboard pieces as my easel card stoppers and the rest is just decorating the front of my Mother's Day card. I hope that you've enjoyed my Graphic 45 Mother's Day card tutorial and that it inspires you to make one of your very own. Please visit Graphic 45 at g45papers.com for your supplies and more paper crafting ideas. Thank you so very much for watching.